State leaders in Austin working to limit how much local governments can raise taxes in a year. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Joe Gum. Those pushing for this change, one spearheaded by Governor Abbott, say any group that wants more than a 2.5% increase in property taxes will have to get approval from voters first. As Dennis Turner shows us, the plan has lots of people talking, including two men with similar backgrounds but different views on the subject. John Wilson didn't intend to become a crusader, but when property tax reform came up in the Texas legislature, he felt he had to speak up to a city council. He moved to Corsicana from California, one of the first states to address zooming property taxes with Proposition 13, a move he learned from a neighbor created a tax system of haves and have-nots. And he basically told me that his house was worth 150 to 200 percent what my house was worth, and he was paying one-sixth the taxes. He says the state still struggles with basic expenses. That's why he opposes Governor Abbott's 2.5 percent annual limit on property tax hikes in Texas without voter approval. You know, the government can't just continue to keep taxing us as citizens, that this will be a stopgap. Steve Jessup also lived in California while Proposition 13 passed, but says Texas needs to keep taxes from pricing people out of their homes. And so therefore, we need to have some sort of uh, a, a, a way of, of being able to control that. Meantime, property tax reform has become a sort of political football. Across Texas, lots of local governments have come out against the governor's plan. Most notably, Waco and McLennan County, a move that drew a sharp rebuke from Governor Abbott. He said on Twitter, Waco officials want to tax their citizens more and make up excuses why. He also went on to call out the county judge, reminding him counties don't fund education. Wilson says local leaders should make the call on property taxes. If my local city council people or the county board decides to raise my taxes 20% or 40% or whatever it is, and I don't get something back for that, then they're gonna get voted out next time around. Which he says puts the issue in the hands of voters in the first place. In Corsicana, Dennis Turner, Central Texas News Now. Last year, Waco collected $5.2 million extra in property tax revenue just from increases in property values without raising taxes.